So here I am at home, finally. And the parcel? It's a small one, so I didn't even bother setting up the studio. I'm just gonna film it on my desk. Look at this guy. It's just two index fingers of mine together. That's like 10 centimeters. No, wait, that's, that's more. That's like 15 centimeters. But either way, let's begin the unpacking process. Or should I start on the sides? On the sides. My apologies if it looks way too close. paper is so good on there it just doesn't want to give up there it is so we have a specific box for electronics it, it seems like and it's <laughs> also taped but cutely taped it's like it's using some white tape can I even rip it? Let's find out. Oh, well, not really. I thought it was really cheap. But apparently, it's it looks like it's specifically made for this as well. There we go. I'm packing. Wait, no. There's another seal. Static sensitive devices. Okay. Oh, look at this box. Unlike the previous seller that sold me the P5Q and the video card, this guy knows how to pack and ship stuff. Here are the three processors. They don't even have legs, so he didn't have to go to such extents. But I still appreciate it. Actually appreciate it. So let's begin which one oh, which one do you think this one will be uh, I got two Pentium 4661s and uh, one Q8300 Intel 2 core quad oh my god An Intel wait Intel core 2 quad yeah Intel core 2 quad <laughs> okay this is Good enough, yep. Moment of truth. Check it out. It's the Intel Core 2 Quad. Q8300. Alright, that's such a good shot too. I'm kind of proud of it. You can see all the lettering. But that's probably because it was, uh, it was looked after. They didn't... You know, scratch it. One down. Two to go. The last two will be the 661s. Pentium 4661. So there's no suspense or anything. You guys can't guess what's going to be next because I know for the fact this is Pentium 4661. The lettering is slightly slightly more scratched I'd say looks slightly more used too I'm, I'm gonna try to wipe it a little bit oh my god I push the tripod let's try this huh? nah it's still like kind of old you can see it was used so there it is it's 661 and the last one I don't have to tell you, you already know which one's gonna be. Let's just open it up. Ugh. I have to be really careful because there is a monitor right here. And, uh, you know, I'm swinging the knife to this side, towards the monitor. This 
this is never a good idea. I don't want to end up buying another monitor. The last processor of these. Oh, the lettering is much better on this one. Oh, look at these clean letters. Intel Pentium 661. Let's compare the 661s so we've got. Are they really the same? Or are they a tiny bit different? Mm, yeah, they're essentially the same. Both at 360 base clock. Not bad at all. So here are the three CPUs I got today. Hope you liked the video. I guess, whatever, comment down below. I guess comment down below. And uh, I'll see you later. Take care.